Good readings people, how's it going? Person with glasses here. Today we're gonna take a closer look at Pika Moon yet again, as they have some big updates. They're about to launch on a centralized exchange, more information for that obviously in the video as well as in the description down below. I covered them not too long ago on the channel when they had their pre-sale. They originally planned about 60 days for that to sell out. At the point over here there was still 1.4 million dollars missing until that cap is reached in phase number three, but they sold out within four days. So once they started picking up marketing again, over 1.3 million dollars entered the pre-sale stage for the Pika token, which is now fully sold out over here. Six million out of six million dollars have been raised and 15 billion tokens have been sold. As it says, stay tuned for the climate exchange announcement, but that should be live for you right now when you watch this video. I will leave a link to this video down below as well, where I go in detail on what they do, what their plan is, and so on and so forth. But in summary, they have a game beta available for which they have a trailer. If you ever played Pokemon in your whole life, you might recognize some of the mechanics in here. They built the game, the characters, the tokens, have it as a play to earn experience, with a core gameplay loop behind that, a renowned studio with high quality, and one of the highest scores when it came to their ICO, as well as additional things. Now, because they sold six million dollars of their token already and will be listed on an exchange, I would assume based on how it usually goes for similar tokens after they launch that the moment you're exposed to an exchange a whole bunch of people start to not just learn about the project but also have it right in front of them when it comes to buying it if you use Binance for example every single day on the homepage alone whether it's the app or on desktop you see new tokens that pop up the ones that just get listed the ones that have the highest gain and millions of people use exchanges every single day meaning the reach is going to be a lot further they say it's the fastest growing game fight token in the industry and just a few days ago I also read did that. The founders behind it, they have been fully doxxed. When you go to their YouTube channel as well, they have lots of updates every single week, as well as multiple vlogs behind it, how they go to conventions, attend them, have their own booth, gameplay features, explanations for everything. And now it's official as well that the team behind it is doxxed, so you know exactly who is working on this every single day. And furthermore, with additional announcements, they talked about the full development team over here, which is Orbit Cosmos, or in other words, 40 people in-house that are now starting working on the game, that already have plans to massively up scale to over 100 people soon. Now I don't know about you, but if 100 people work on something, it probably gets done a lot quicker. Then let's say two people in a bedroom have an idea, that's it. Orbit Cosmos over here is a development company, which I can show you on LinkedIn once I finish this puzzle, where we select this cat over there. And now that I've proven to be a human, I still get disappointed by LinkedIn. You can see all the details over here, with the company size, the location, and all of that. They also have this sneak peek over here for one of the characters called Barcane, where we can see the first steps of action that they took towards building the universe and the characters, with more to follow fairly soon. Now with a different angle moving on. In the beta, they have nearly 10,000 users already, and if you want to play the beta, LinkedIn is down below as well. There are six elemental regions and one open world metaverse. You can battle, you can hopefully win against all the opponents, explore and discover the new Pikamon species, find hidden treasures and battle in online and offline modes across the expanse of Pikaverse. Now for that, if you get a phone, so Android or Apple, you're all good to go and you can download the app. And the system requirements are basically, did you buy a phone in the last 10 years? If so, good job, you can play it. There are also six different factions or elements. So we got fire, electric, water, earth, air, as well as grass. I would assume some collectibles behind it as well. And if you want to try it out, there's a button right there. Play now on Google Play. You just got to say you want to be a tester, select become a tester, which will then give you this link over here where you can install the public version on the Google Play Store. So if you don't have the app installed, go for that and you'll be sent over here and you can install it and then it should be good to go. For Apple, same thing, but you gotta use test flight in order to test the app and they'll walk you through step by step on what to do. And the steps are install the app, verify your email and you're all good to go. Now they also got audited by CoinSold over here where there have only been two issues found and both of them have been acknowledged. And one of the issues up here, for example, is, is trading enabled no, but that is because we just had the pre-sale that ended for the token. Trading will be enabled when this video goes live so you can see on what exchange it launched as well as what other maybe decentralized exchanges. You will see everything on CoinMarketCap for example or CoinGecko once everything is finished in here. Now for that keep in mind you actually gotta sign up to the exchanges in order to trade on the exchanges which means if you haven't done so go for it and if you have done so don't forget your, your password. You know that's pretty important when it comes to logging in. Now the coin behind it is going to launch around 10 million dollars in market cap and if you think about the current market caps of similar projects that they compare themselves to we got Axie Infinity at almost 1.5 billion we got the sandbox with their open metaverse at 1.56 billion 
and then also Alluvium, which is now at 446 million. Now they're gonna launch at 10 million, which means it shouldn't be too far-fetched that it might go for like a 10x in the first couple days. Obviously, all speculation, you never know what actually happens. But with the marketing so far that they have done, I could see them getting to like a 100 or 200 million dollar market cap, which would put them in the top 450 projects, roughly. And I like to say, if we find any meme coin in that range, like Pepe Fork, which is called Pork, if a pink picture of a frog can go to 120 million, then a giant team behind it that develops the game actively with doxed founders and a good audit shouldn't have a hard time to get to a similar evaluation. Obviously, if it goes from 10 million to a billion, 100x, easy, but we will see how it goes. Also, I'll get one of the founders on a call fairly soon to answer any questions that you guys might have, so feel free to leave them down below in the comments, whether well, that's about the game, the team behind it, the focus that they have right now, or any anything that has to do with development of Pikamoon. I'll do my best to ask all the questions, and at that point, I will have figured out the issue with my camera right there, so I don't have to use my phone in that angle. But I actually like the angle, so you can see my kitchen, you can see the trash that is up there. I'll take it out fairly soon, don't you worry. Now links to everything mentioned in here in the description down below. If you want to get the game, test it, go for it, be my guest. If you want to buy the coin on an exchange, or you got it on the pre-sale, don't forget to claim the tokens, you can now trade them. But I still have to tell you that it's not financial advice. They sold over $1.3 million in their pre-sale token in just 4 days, which is a pretty good indicator. But let's see how it goes. Let me know what you think, leave questions down below, and until next time, take care.